Many PC also refer to as thin clients that can be integrated with your choice of monitors and peripherals, such as a webcam and more. At the same, many PC can stay hidden out of sight, either under the desk or behind a monitor. Despite their small size, many PC are as functional and compatible with software as traditional PC. What's up guys, welcome back to our channel, and today video we take a look at the 5 best mini PC that you can get your hand on this year. And if you want more information, we also put the link in the description box down below. Thanks, let's get started with the video. Starting up our list with number 5, we have Zodak Z-Box ZI329. Depending on how much money you want to spend on a mini PC, sometimes it's best to build your own because you can use components you might already have, such as an old laptop's HDD or SSD, or buying SATA memory online for a good price. Cases and motherboards are difficult to match in this form factor, so some companies offer just the bare case with the motherboard. But with Zodak offers you this model with the processor already installed, so you only need to add RAM and storage. This firm has been a pioneer in the mini PC market with the first mini PC created in 2008 and the Z-Box series a year later. It's not surprising then that they are now offering this ready-to-assemble kit that can be described as just add RAM and a disk. It has a small square form factor with enough ports to meet the demands of even the most demanding users and you can connect it to old or new monitors alike. Powered by an Intel Celeron N4100 quad-core CPU with passive cooling, the system is totally silent and suitable for media playback, web browsing, and office work. The Intel UHD 600 graphics delivers 4K output with H.265 and H.264 video decoding, so it is a perfect choice for becoming your little media center or homework center. In addition to the power button, it has a SDHC card reader, one Type A and one Type C USB 3.0 port and a hard drive and SSD activity LED. This case also has two RJ45 Ethernet ports for wired networking. It comes with monitor ports with all three popular standards as HDMI 2.0, Display Port, and VGA Port. A VESA mount is also included if you want to mount this unit to the back of a monitor. As soon as you have purchased the necessary memory and storage, you are able to open up its tool-less design and install the required DDR4 memory and 2.5-inch SATA HDD or SSD effortlessly. Some users found they had to enter the BIOS screen to enable legacy booting and to enable the sound to avoid setup and configuration headaches. The dual band 802.11 AC Wi-Fi with a quality external antenna, along with its dual gigabit Ethernet ports make it also well suited to be a router or edge firewall if you have the knowledge and expertise to set it up. This product is for techies only but highly recommended. At number 4, we have Beelink GTR7. Beelink has produced a workstation class desktop in a small, shiny package that makes it a strong PC competitor to the Mac Mini, with some extra perks and functionality that raises eyebrows. Its fingerprint reader at the top in the case is one of its biggest advantages over almost any other mini PC, making it a good choice for the security conscious and well suited for both business settings and your home working space. Its 2 gigabit Ethernet ports also make it an excellent firewall for running an intrusion detection system like Suricata or for other edge of network functions. Its connectivity is one of its strongest points, thanks to its 6 USB 3.0 ports and its 1 USB Type-C port that supports video. With the USB-C in addition to the display port and HDMI ports, you can use four monitors at once if you need an amazingly large work surface. The device supports the latest Wi-Fi 6 standard as well as gave it Ethernet and Bluetooth 5.0. Inside, you'll find an AMD Ryzen 7 3750H CPU inside, which clocks speed up to 4 GHz and 16 GB of DDR4 memory, which can be expanded to 64 GB with two 32 GB modules. Due to the Radeon Vega 10 included, don't expect the same graphics performance as a discrete GPU, but it can still drive several monitors at full resolution. With its support for up to four displays is great for image editing, video monitoring, digital signage, or just the news junkie that wants to watch live news TV on one display and work on three others. Even if you ignore the extra perks, such as dual gigabit ethernet and a fingerprint reader, it can also be a very good entertainment system hooked to a living room TV. Furthermore, thanks to its internal 2.5 inch bay for SATA HDD or SSD, its storage can be expanded, making it a good long-term machine it's definitely worth the purchase. At number 3, we have the Lenovo ThinkCenter Tiny M720Q. With its M720Q, Lenovo screams with a professional from every angle. 
This unit has a small footprint, can be used horizontally or vertically, and measures an impressive 7 inches by 1.35 inches. It has rub pads to prevent it from sliding on the desk, and a stand can be used to position it vertically. It can also be mounted behind a monitor if you purchase the optional but inexpensive VESA mounting bracket. This sturdy metal enclosure houses a 6-core Intel i5-9400T that can reach 3.4 GHz. The mini PC uses a desktop-grade processor instead of a lower-power mobile one, and the graphics are handled by an Intel UHD 630 integrated graphics card. The large air vents at the back keep the CPU and the system cool without creating a lot of noise. There are a wide range of CPU, RAM, and storage configurations available of this model, with the highest-end version currently being an Intel i7-8700T with a 1TB SSD and 32GB RAM for 25 times the price of this mid-level configuration. With one screw removed at the back, you can slide the top and front off to access the inside. After that's out of the way, you'll see the empty 2.5-inch storage bay, where you'll be able to add a SATA SSD or HDD. The bottom panel reveals two RAM slots using SATA memory along with the SSD connected via M.2 PCI Express slot. Since it is a business device, it comes with many perks IT managers will love, like the Lenovo Vantage software that allows them to do everything from perform hardware scans to update software and check warranty status. Security is another strength that makes it suitable for business environments. Its smart USB protection allows network administrators to control what USB devices can be allowed to connect to its USB ports. At number 2, we have the Dell Optiplex 3090 Micro. Dell has been in the business of mini PC for years. Since launching its Optiplex series many years ago, the company has developed it into full-size PC, SFF, and later on the micro offerings. The Optiplex 3090 Micro came out in late 2021, replacing the 3080 of a year ago, with the main differences being its ability to support 64GB of memory on its two memory slots, and all of its USB ports are 3.2 Gen 1. This unit is designed to sit vertically next to a monitor, leaving the front USB port and power button within easy reach. With microphone and headphones ports, it makes a great video conferencing tool. Windows 10 comes preloaded, but there is an option to have Windows 11 Pro installed. The processor included is a 10th generation Intel Core i5-10500T with 6 cores with speeds up to 2.30 GHz, so it's perfect for office applications. The Intel UHD Graphics 630 Shared Graphics works well for watching HD videos, working in office applications, and editing graphics. Display port video ports on the back allow you to hook up two monitors at up to 4K resolution with 60 Hz. The cooler makes little noise despite the power of the CPU. There is a 2.5-inch storage slot for a SATA-based HDD or SSD inside, as well as two M.2 base slots. One holds the bundled PCI SSD, and another holds the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth card. On the front, there is one USB 3.2 port, and on the back are four USB 3.2 ports, all capable of speeds of up to 5 gigabyte per second, along with two video outputs and an RJ4 to 5 gigabit Ethernet port. There is a Kensington lock slot for securing the device to a desk, and if you order directly from Dell, there is an option to add an additional video port, which can either be VGA port, Display Port 1.4, or HDMI port. The system can be fine-tuned if ordered directly from Dell, with options ranging from a quad-core Intel i3 to an 8-core Intel i7, more RAM or replacing the SSD with a FIPS certified self-encrypting drive. Dell offers a wired keyboard as part of the base price when ordering directly from the company. An outstanding value for money is made even better by the firm's trademark 3-year warranty. The last product on our list is the Mini's Forum UM700 the best overall mini PC available on the 2022 market. This powerful mini PC is square and smaller than a mouse pad, making it perfect for office workers, students, and creative professionals who work from home. It looks good sitting on your desk, but thanks to its mounting plate, you are able to hide it from view if necessary. Additionally, its small size makes it easy to transport. Simply unplug the cables and put the workhorse with its power adapter into a backpack to take it wherever you go. Thanks to AMD Fast Quad-Core Ryzen 7 CPU and its PCI Bus SSD, Windows 10 boots in less than 10 seconds. It includes 16GB of RAM, which is more than adequate for 2022 and beyond. If you want to upgrade your memory or storage, its top plate is easily removed by pressing and sliding without a screwdriver. It uses standard SODIMMs like laptops do and has a 2.5-inch bay for an internal SSD or HDD. 
The device has one USB-C port on the front, as well as two USB 3.2 type of ports, a 3.5mm headphone jack, and a power button. There are also more USB ports on its back, as well as HDMI and Display Port for hooking up a monitor. With this tiny machine, you can drive three 4K displays with ease, but you will have to use three different cable types for each, such as USB-C, HDMI, and Display Port. Early in January, the company announced that a version with Manjaro Linux preloaded would cost $70 less than the Windows version. The dual-band Wi-Fi and Gigabit Ethernet port as the basic configuration provide excellent connectivity. Minus Forum offers versions of this model in various RAM and storage configurations, and some have 2 Gigabit Ethernet ports, whereas the Linux preloaded version has a 2.5 Gigabyte per second Ethernet port. Consider that when ordering and check the type and number of Ethernet ports included if wired networking is important to you. Thanks for watching. That's all for today's video. Hope all of you guys enjoy the video. Thanks.